The following program has been rated S for spoilers, which may or may not be discussed by the hosts of said program. Common sense is suggested. You silly person. Hello and welcome to Rollerball. I mean, well, <laughs> well, well, we are going to talk about Rollerball. Yes. Yeah, but uh, our show is called Aaron and Drew's Movie Reviews. My name is Drew. My name is Aaron. And uh, yeah, Rollerball. Don't mess with that guy. Yeah. Jonathan. 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 Okay. Jo- yeah. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, came out in 1975. Mm-hmm. Um, and was is kind of pretty much, you know, it's interesting when you look at sci-fi films of the '70s. They have before Star Wars, mm-hmm. and you have after Star Wars. Yes, it's kind this of the big dividing line. Definitely a before. Definitely Star a before Wars. Star Wars. Only a couple years yeah. before, and there are a couple of uh, Star Wars actors in this film. They don't have very big parts, but no. uh, they are in there. Um, but yeah, this came out in 75, and uh, James Caan is the lead in the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was just a couple years after he was in The Godfather. Yeah, but he was not cast in this movie because of this. No. No, he was cast because of Brian's song. Yes. I read some trivia. Oh, well. <laughs> you got to get it from somewhere. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. you look good in a helmet and pads. <laughs> yeah. So you have Rollerball Guy and Lando Calrissian in the same movie, <laughs> Yeah, who played Gale Sayers, but... Uh, yeah, that's how he got cast in the movie. Um, and this, uh, weirdly enough, this movie, I think, was filmed almost entirely, well, not entirely, but mostly in Munich, Germany, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is funny because I've been to Munich and I didn't know that this was made in Munich before. And uh, the rest of it, I think, was filmed in England at Pinewood yeah. Studios, which is where they made a lot of the James Bond movies and stuff. Make a lot of stuff in Pinewood. They sure do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even wood. Yeah. Made out of pine. Mm-hmm. They do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, speaking of uh, the, not just Star Wars, but there is a never-ending story actor in this movie also. I didn't look up any of the actors. Well, you didn't. And as I was watching it, it just kind of went like this in front of my face. Like, I felt like this movie was trying to say something, and I, it didn't. it didn't go in at was it all. going in okay. so i'm sorry I think I, 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 well <laughs> the one piece was, of trivia i already gave <laughs> yeah well it was it took a while for me because the movie well i'll get more into that but it slowly kind of sunk it's kind of like a kind of like making one of those poke cakes or mm-hmm. pound cakes mm-hmm. where you put the stuff on top and it takes an hour but eventually mm-hmm. it soaks in <laughs> you gotta poke to the, the cake. holes in you gotta it. poke the holes in the cake uh-huh and i think by the end Three quarters of the way through the movie, I was kind of getting it. Mm-hmm. But it was a very, as they say, a slow burn <laughs> kind of movie. So. It was very much a slow burn. Yeah. Until which is the weird motor- because... Until the motorcycles caught on fire. Yeah, which is weird because it starts with like a really big um, mm-hmm. game of rollerball. Yes. Which I'll talk about in a second. But did you know, did you figure out the, the never ending story cameo? No. Uh, Moses Gunn, uh, his buddy, the black guy. Okay. Uh, he was, the princess is dying. Oh. He has that big uh-huh. wedge going yep. down the middle yep. of his face. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the same guy. Okay. Yeah. He was in the Never Ending Story It doesn't also. look the same without his really tall yeah, head. Yeah, it kind of throws people <laughs> off, you know. Um, but also, uh, uh, who else do we have in here? Oh, Pamela Hensley's in the movie. Uh, she was uh, on Buck Rogers in the 25th Century TV show. <laughs> She was Princess Ardala. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Never and, seen uh, it. Yeah. Oh, it's that's a gem. I know. It's free on Tubi right now. Um, <laughs> Yay. Who, who else did we have in there? Um, oh, Maude Adams. She was mm-hmm. a Bond girl just before this in, I think, Man with the Golden Gun with Roger Moore. And, oh, John Hausman. Do you know who John Hausman is? Not if you just say his name. Oh, he was in The Fog. 11.55, almost midnight. Time for one more story. He's telling the ghost story oh. in the movie. 
Okay. Yeah. Well, he was he won an Oscar for a movie called The Paper Chase. Okay. In seventy three. But uh, yeah, he's the plays the uh, not the owner, but he's the head of the corporation that kind of or one of the corporations that funds <clears throat> this whole the bad guy r- rollerball thing. Kind of. Kind of bad guy. Yeah. Yes. The the. If it's, you it's needed compl- a person to, to be, be a, a bad guy, he was he's the, the bad guy. He's the closest thing to a villain. He's an executive. In the movie. Yeah, is that what a, they called him? Yeah, executives. Something like that. Yeah. <sighs> there, uh, I really wish I could explain this movie, but I can't. No? It's like just the corporations took over, and mm. they don't want people to be individuals. Right, which is why they have this rollerball thing because it's supposed to emphasize team or like everybody being on literally a level yeah. playing field even though the I mean, it's field isn't technically level. Not it's level. a bowl. But, <laughs> but uh, as far as the game goes I was trying to pinpoint you know it's, it's a cool idea for a game mm-hmm. you know because like it's basically a hodgepodge of roller derby, mm-hmm. hockey, mm-hmm. football, mm-hmm. Uh, motocross, mm-hmm. and pinball. Mm-hmm. And maybe rugby. Yeah. Yeah. Am I missing anything? A little MMA. Uh, well, yeah, I guess. But that's more that's towards the end when they remove all the rules. But they do that in hockey, too. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, ooh, this is... And I still don't know what the rules are. I just know that this... this <laughs> go can- around in a circle. This cannon thing at the top of the bowl you put it in this a hole. ball... <laughs> And it's like pinball. It just yeah. chink and goes around, mm-hmm. and then it's up to like someone on one of the teams to get it and put it in. Or basketball. There, yeah. That's another one because they basically yeah. put it in a shoot it into a thing. Yeah, but, they yeah. don't really shoot though. They, they just, just sort of throw, place it. They just kind of like in the shoot, da, da, da. and it goes ta da. Yeah, you won. Yeah, you get a one the next to your team on the big scoreboard. Yeah. Is kind of how that went. Yeah. Yeah. Even though I still, that's, that's about as the extent of the rules I can yeah. figure out. So, Just, But it's a team sport. You want to make sure that teams. And you don't want to be, I, I don't understand this movie. Yeah, well, well we figure out, we do figure <laughs> out that James Conn's character, Jonathan E., mm-hmm. is like the... He's like the Michael Jordan of yeah. this. He's the best rollerball player. He's the best rollerball ever. player ever, even though this sport's probably only been around like 30 years at yeah. this time of the movie. It's hard to tell. They've erased all the history. Yeah. The poor 13th century. Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> oh, I missed the Black Plague. Um, <laughs> even though in this, this is kind of like a plague of its yeah. own, really. Yeah. But... <laughs> But yeah, he's 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 the big star of this league, mm-hmm. and uh, they after they win this match, it's Houston and who else is it? Tokyo? No, not Tokyo. The, Tokyo's later. Tokyo's later. Is it Madrid? Madrid. Yeah. Yeah. So Houston, Madrid, Houston, Tokyo, and Houston, Houston, New York. New York. Yeah. So, For the finals. Yeah, because there's no actual. That's another thing in this future. There are no actual countries. Right. They're just. They're cities, mm-hmm. but there's basically like corporations are basically run by the government. Corporations. Yeah, yeah, and that's another thing about this rollerball thing. They notice how this says, "Please stand for our corporate anthem." Mm-hmm. Although I forget what the corporate anthem was. Some chip tune. Yeah, something on synthesizer. Yeah, that did it have words? No, I don't think it did. Nope. No, no. Um. And then after their big victory, they're kind of have, getting together and they have their locker room speech. Oh, hey, can get the energy? Uh, is it John Houseman? He's energy. That's his because it's, it's the the world is basically run by these different corporations, and each of these heads is de- mm-hmm. is ahead of a different sector mm-hmm. of the world. Like it's he's, the Hunger Games. Yeah, this is like early Hunger Games, or, basically, or proto Hunger Games. Proto Hunger Games. Yes. It's a lot. Uh, but he's like head of energy, but then mm-hmm. later on he's in his office and he's talking to the heads of these other divisions. You are food, you are uh, infrastructure, mm-hmm. you are mm-hmm. blah, 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 mm-hmm. down the line. There's like six or seven of them yeah. basically control everything. Mm-hmm. So uh, head of energy comes in, and it was a good game tonight and blah, 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 and which doesn't... I... And you should retire. 
and you should retire. But it doesn't really say does he is he the must be also be the overseer of like the rollerball league, or is it just the Houston team, or is he in charge of like a certain number of teams? See, that's I one think, thing I didn't understand. Yeah, I think he may be like the commissioner where he oversees a bunch of teams. It could be, yeah. Or maybe just I I don't know if he oversees rollerball in general because it seems that there is one sport that is rollerball mm -hmm. and it is there to distract people it basically replaces war and political right strife yeah. yeah and it's never a game it was never a game or something it's just to distract people with violence yeah which is in a weird way was ahead not really ahead of its time but is still applicable today mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's just magnified by these things like social media and the internet. Mm -hmm. So uh, that does still hold up pretty well. I will, I will give it that, yes. yes. So there are positives to it. There, there are. Yeah. Like, it, I wouldn't want to say this is a bad movie. It wasn't a bad movie. It just but it's a, it's, was it, I saying think it's a like, lot, but I don't feel that it had, like, it chose the right medium to say what it was trying to say. Probably, yeah. yeah. It, it, the information was doled out in a yeah, in it was very washed. Fashion. Yeah, it's like we have a message, but we're gonna, we don't really want you to know what it yeah. is. <laughs> uh, well, in that little, uh, af this is where we have our first Star Wars sighting. Mm -hmm. uh, in that little after room, uh, hey, congrats, everybody! You mm -hmm. know, uh, we're Moon Pie. Uh, James Conn has a buddy in the movie named Moon Pie. Yeah, uh, who's played by John Beck, I think. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. and. <laughs> And he's, hey, and then he, but then he's like, everybody in the locker room is like taking substances. Like, mm -hmm. are those really painkillers he's taking? But uh, John Hausman has an assistant walking around with him everywhere, and he was in Star Wars. Okay. He was, I don't remember his character's name, but he's the guy, he's the, has the dubious distinction of being the first force choke in Star Wars, like, I find your lack of faith disturbing. Mm, okay, yeah. You haven't found those data tapes. That guy? Okay, yeah. That's him. That's the same oh. actor. I also know this because I saw him, A, I saw him at a convention once. Uh, and B, I, uh, at this convention, there is a, on the left-hand side is the big convention center. On the right-hand side of the road, there's this huge parking ramp where you go mm -hmm. park. And I was waiting to go around at the stoplight to go around the corner to go park. Mm -hmm. And I was the f last car to, I didn't make it through. I had the yellow light and then it turned red. Mm -hmm. And I was on the right-hand lane. There's a crosswalk there. And waiting in front of the crosswalk on the curb mm -hmm. is like, that's data tape force choke guy. <laughs> he was literally standing there in a white suit waiting to cross the street in front of my car. I'm like, oh. That's him. And then, oh, my light screen. I should go. You know. Did you pretend to force choke him? No. you probably say, what is that guy doing and why is he having a heart attack in his car? Um, <laughs> but that, that's Opportunity a true, missed. That, but that's a true story. Oh, uh, it's pretty actually, awesome. Yeah, actually, that's kind of a neat that's story. Pretty cool. that's, not, that's a little better than just going to his booth and saying, can I rub her yeah, graph guy? Like, that's just like something I'm you can't buy. I'm your biggest buy. fan. Yeah. yeah no, I that was pretty I cool. Could, <laughs> I could have run over the force choke guy. The, for, the first force choke guy in Star Wars. That is a true story. It would story. have been your claim to fame. Yep. <laughs> He's like, I, I ran I over killed, this guy. I didn't need no force choke. I just ran over <laughs> my car. Yeah, Richard Le Parmentier is his name. Uh, he actually he showed up in some other movies too, like mm -hmm. Superman 2, I think. He was the news reporter and uh, Crow. And some other genres, yeah. movies that were made in England. That mm -hmm. kind of thing. The um, English guy. Yeah. And uh, so after that little locker room pep speech, they kind of... You know, Jonathan goes home and he's kind of lamenting a lot about his wife, his because he had a wife that I think did they say she had died originally or did she just leave? Because spoiler alert, she does actually show up later. Yeah. But the, didn't he think she was dead? I thought that he thought that they just took her from him. Right, because that's I think part of the deal is. Yeah. You know, if you do well in these things, a rollerball, they'll yeah. they'll make you happy. Yep. But if you don't, but they can also take those things away from you. Mm -hmm. Is kind of the other part of the slippery yep. slope that they have. Like they want, they needed to make somebody else happy. Yes. And that person wanted. Ellen, Elon. I Ella. forget. I forget her name. 
I just, his wife. I just call her Maude Adams. <laughs> Bond girl. Bond girl. Yeah, Bond girl Maude. And she went along with it. That something else entirely. Yeah. And yeah, she just left. And then he's been sad the yeah, entire he's, time. Yeah, he's been mopey. Just moping. Very mopey, even though he has, you know, Princess Sardal, I mean Pamela Hensley yeah. in his apartment now. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Daphne. Yeah. Is that her name? Daphne? Delph? Delphi? Might Something like Daphne. that. Something like that, yeah. And I uh, almost remembered a name. Yeah. And then <laughs> he goes then he goes to visit Mr. I don't even remember what that guy's name is. Names aren't important in this movie. Apparently I don't not. Because uh, they. Uh, <laughs> the strip descriptors. <laughs> yeah. John Hausman's character. Okay. The energy guy. Energy guy. He goes to visit the energy guy. He says, you know, I think you need to retire. Yeah. And he doesn't want to retire because this is like the only thing he's good at. Mm -hmm. You know? Even though he has multiple people say, hey, you know, yeah, you should. You know, yeah. his buddy, Moses Gunn, his buddy's like, yeah, you should think about retiring. And then uh, he he's trying to do like research because mm -hmm. he's kind of figure out like why why is it yeah why do they need me to retire yeah what is going on in this sport that they don't want an individual succeeding mm -hmm. which to me is weird in sports I mean sports are team events yes but there but are you, there are you stars. still have stars yeah. yeah. But hey, this Brett is all Favre, I think you should retire. Mm, I think I'm going to go play for the Vikings instead. Mm, okay, you know. I think I'm just going to slowly become a horrible person. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. and sorry. then there's a lot of sorry. these, like, party scenes where everybody's, like, drinking wine and eating mm -hmm. cheese. And, and blowing up trees. Yeah, because, you know, if that took place in modern day, i.e. 1975, everybody would be doing mountains of cocaine. Mm. Probably. Right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. I wasn't there. <laughs> or sneezing and blowing it across the room like Woody <laughs> Allen used to do. Um, that's another movie. Uh, <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, yeah. And then, uh, well, he did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah I know. Annie Hall. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, we'll add that one to the list. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he, he's not really finding what he wants in this. Eventually, he goes to this other laboratory. Mm -hmm. and I think it's run by Ralph Richardson. And he's like, they get this giant-looking computer, which is... Zero. Yeah, and it's that's like... That's a name I remember. It's, a, it's basically yes. like water that's going through like a giant Connect mm -hmm. 4 board. Mm, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's liquid... It's, that, it's the memory pool. Yeah. Ah. And then it's not giving him the answers he wants either. Um, and then there's there's this party where people are, he goes to meet with John Hausman again, and then there's party guests who are, like, outside, mm -hmm. and they're, like, shooting trees with this. Like a lightning gun? Like a lightning gun. Because it, it sounds, sounds like, like lightning. Yeah, ka yeah. And not then like, the tree explodes And then fire. These tree, it's like a Monty Python sketch yeah, where yeah. things <laughs> magically start on fire. And I think that's... You know, goes to like the violence thing. People, if you yeah. get people violence, they'll be distracted and they won't care about anything else. Exactly. Yeah. Except the one lady was very upset. Yeah. After a while, she's like, "Well, but why?" Uh, I. Oh, the 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 the, the friend that yeah. they gave him. Yeah. The, the blonde what? friend. Yeah. Yeah. And then he almost like. Friend. Then upset. he almost like choked her to death. Yeah. 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 Because that is one, you know, with all this provided Violence. comfort, you know, because you, you do this, you can have this. Mm -hmm. But he also doesn't appreciate anything. Right. Right. Because he doesn't have what he wants. Mm -hmm. And then when he gets what he wants, he realizes that they didn't give it to him because of the reasons he thought they did. They gave it to him to make him quit. And mm -hmm. he doesn't understand why. And I don't understand why. <laughs> but nobody understands why. So he Do you understand he why? rebukes no, no. <laughs> <laughs> something about bad individualism is bad corporations is good mm -hmm. which yeah let's just talk about that for a moment yeah. no um, and then, this is like the whole thing of the this movie though yeah, just, but it takes a while to get there yeah, yeah it takes the whole movie to get there yeah and then individualism ends up winning in the end mm -hmm. basically. I guess they just sort of cut 
abruptly. And credits. Yeah. Well, yeah. I wasn't done talking about the movie yet. I know. It's, I know. Because Hausman's like, we got to find a way to get this guy out of the game because he's t causing too much, you know, people to have these individualistic mm -hmm. sensate or feelings, basically. Yeah. And he has like, uh, he has like what, four or five screens in front of him and each one, rep it's the head of another sector of the world's economy, mm -hmm. basically. The food guy, the science guy, the infrastructure guy, mm -hmm. or, or girl, there's a lady in there somewhere. Yeah, she and they're, they're, probably did music, I don't know. <laughs> well, somebody's gotta be in charge of music. <laughs> Someone is in charge of entertainment. And, and so, uh, yeah. And then magically, uh, Jonathan goes home one day and his wife that he thought was gone comes back and is like, ooh, I got my, my wife back. And he's, she's like, no, I'm coming back basically just to talk you out of doing what you're yeah. doing. Yeah. You need to stop. You need to retire. Mm -hmm. Stop being you and um, just bow down to the corporations. Yeah. Which he yeah. promptly responds by erasing all of... Mm. Her, uh, what is that? Now, all the videos, home that movies she, yeah. that she's in, because he's basically like, well, the in term that now case, would be like, canceled. I'm done with you, yeah, yeah cancel culture, basically. <laughs> oh my God, you're you're yeah. canceled, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's something else I could take up a whole episode, but yeah. And then they're kind of in their last, oh, in their second to last game, mm -hmm. uh, his buddy gets real messed up. Mm -hmm. Uh, becomes a vegetable. It becomes a vegetable because he's in the uh, Tokyo game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why were the Tokyo uniforms yellow? Um, you know, I don't know. Was it because 70s and everyone's racist? Because um, that's what I took away from that. Sorry. Uh, it, it, <laughs> It could be. There's all these colors. See, this is like not yellow. This is this is like like we had said. This is pre Star Wars, mm -hmm. and then there's post Star Wars, and is, everything is, I shouldn't say everything, but a lot of 70s science fiction tends to be very dystopian. Mm -hmm. And then after Seth Star Wars, I don't want to say it's utopian, but it's people trying to copy Star Wars. Mm -hmm. A lot of them, not all of them, but mm -hmm. a lot. The tone change, tends to change quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To focus more on hero's journey instead of yeah, instead world of like bad. going to the dark side, so to speak. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so his buddy gets turned into a vegetable. That doesn't make him quit, though. No. He's like, because they're trying to like, hey, if you don't quit, this is going to happen to you. And he's yeah. like, no. You know, that would be cool. I think he'd be okay with dying. Probably. Well, he almost does. Yeah. Yeah. In the final, well, for the movie anyway, Roller yeah. Ball game, he. Uh, Sticks it to the man, so mm -hmm. to speak. He's literally the last man standing. Yeah. I mean, that's how violent the last game is. No like, rules. All of the Houston and New York players are basically... Like, they're even like... The, 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 bike, the motorcycles basically are, are shot. Mm -hmm. They're burning, literally, mm -hmm. on the field. Mm -hmm. Or arena, or whatever. And he takes... He doesn't skate to the hole with the ball. He just kind of... Struts yeah. up to it and just, just the, the climbs stop. in and just, oh, yeah. and just shoves it in and just literally stick it in the guy's face. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not going. He did anywhere. have the opportunity to kill the last man though. You're right. And he did not. He did not. So, because he figures it out. Sort well, of. So, at least somebody did. Yeah. I'm sorry. Somebody figured it out. Somebody figured something out. Yeah. So yay, rollerball. Rollerball. Yeah. So, uh, it's a movie. Yeah, it's a movie. <laughs> uh, that's, I guess we're going to grade this thing now. Uh, Aaron, what grade do you give Rollerball? Uh, can I give it a Q? No. I, a Q? Yeah, because i questioning. Mm. Um, I Well, okay. Not I'm going to give it a C. A C, okay. Passing, it has not some to say. It's not terrible. I just didn't understand it. Yeah. <laughs> you think after two or three more viewings, it'll maybe sink in? maybe if I watch it two or three more times. Yeah. Will I? I don't know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm gonna give the benefit of the. I I think I like the. <laughs> 
I like the idea of Rollerball mm -hmm. probably let it better than I like the movie, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. I still want to know all the rules of the game, which right. I do not know, because uh, I think I'd be, I'll probably enjoy it more. Yeah. But it, you know, it, it's a slow burny kind of movie, yeah. so I'm going to give it a, I'll give it a C also. Yeah. I like the director's previous movie more. Oh. <laughs> Fiddler on the Roof? No, Jesus no? Christ Superstar. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The no, other musical. Yeah. <laughs> that is right. I mean, yeah, he, he was a different choice for this. Because mm -hmm. I don't think he had done any science fiction before. No. Oh, no. no. But, but yeah, uh, but I an could interesting see, choice. Be, yeah. Because I really know that movie well, I could see his stylistic tellings, and then I could also see that he pulled a lot from A Clockwork Orange. Uh, <laughs> a little mm. bit. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that's uh, Rollerball. It does make me want to play pinball, though, in a weird way. But that, you know, just... Be a pinball wizard. Yeah. That's a different movie. Oh, it sure is. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's Rollerball from Aaron and Drew's movie reviews. So until next time, I'm Drew. I'm... Who am I again? I'm Aaron. You're Aaron E, Aaron F. I do. I'm Aaron E F. How about that? Okay, sure. <laughs> uh, and we'll anyway. <laughs> Bye. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Wait for the corporate anthem. <clears throat>